Okay, I wanted to make a quick little update. Of course, if you can see it there, that's where my shit's supposed to be going. It was supposed to be delivered here Saturday, but it's not here. So, actually, the day before Saturday, Friday, I went up and I picked me up a new toy. So, I'm going to show you my new towing rig here. And, uh, kind of like this. Yep, finally got me a car hauler. If you anybody's on my Facebook fan page, you've seen pictures of it, but I'm going to do a little video of it right here, right now. This is an 18-foot deck. It's got the 16-foot flat with the 2-foot dovetail off the back. Uh, let's see here. It's 82 inches wide between the wheel wells. Right now, I got the Beater Honda Civic or Accord, Accord on it right now. It had a failed CV shaft. And it actually twisted off at the carrier, so I had to take that into the shop since my welder's still not here and weld a bolt onto the end of it and pull the end of the spline out. Yeah. So that's kind of what's going on with this. This is like the ultimate portable lift. Yeah. Jack it up up there at the front. I can get right up under there and uh, work on vehicles. I kind of like it. But yeah, so I bought this trailer and I also bought a Champion 4500 winch. I don't know if it doesn't want to focus in on it, but got a winch for I need to get locks for the ramps. I replaced the lights in the back with LEDs. Yep. Pretty nice little car hauler here. Got the hooks at each corner up here. The only thing I want to do is I want to get the marker lights for on the fenders so people can see them. You know, see me coming. Probably mount them right there. Yeah, I'm doing this on my iPhone, so. Uh, who was the maker of this? American Manufacturers Operators Incorporated. But, yep. So it came from, uh, I'll let you know how much I paid for this thing. Uh, brand new off the lot. Guy that was right up, right up here on the A-frame right here. It said, uh, 18.95. Then, which it kind of says it right there. There was a sticker on the front that said 18.5. Guy sold it to me for 17.5. Uh, it's also got the on the rear brakes. It's got the uh, it's got rear brakes on the rear axle. Yeah. I also got the brake controller now in the truck, which that was pretty easy to mount. The brake controller is a Pilot. It's a four wired system. This truck doesn't come with um, a trailer hookup because it doesn't have the selling package. It would been real easy to just connect it into a connector up under the dash. But what we have here is the blue wire is for the trailer. The white wire is the positive. No. The white wire is negative. This red wire goes up to the brake switch, and the black one is power. So that's how that works. It's controlled right here by the dial it goes from 0 to 12 and then this is what locks up the brakes well it slowly engages the brakes so every time you hit the pedal it slowly engages and locks up the brakes if anybody didn't know that um, also with this pin it's seven pinned so you know you got your left right blah blah blah. I'll also run through that and add extra lights for reverse lights and I'll probably put a 12 volt back to the trailer and use it for whatever I'm going to use it for. But it's a pretty nice setup. Pretty inexpensive. I think total after it was all said and done, tagging it and getting it on the road, I probably spent about 2300 bucks. So I don't think that's too bad. Especially when I wanted something new and never been used. I could take it on the highway. So, kind of a nice addition to the old Dodge that needs to be repainted this year. 
So, well, so the video is what it is, and uh, I'm going to get off here and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. So, uh, like always, check me out on Days Garage 512 on Facebook. It's all one word. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Later on.